If you're as into super yachts as I am, then you've probably found Tristan's channel. He's Super Yacht Captain on YouTube. If you've not seen it, definitely worth looking out. But he runs this boat behind me. It's a San Lorenzo called AWOL. And I've been following his channel for a while, so when I found out that we're both in Cannes at the same time, I called him up and said, any chance for a yacht tour? And he said, absolutely, with a couple of conditions. I did. Nick, it's great to see you. And you. Welcome to AWOL. We've been discussing for a while for you to come to, to finding you're here. We met yesterday at the Monaco show. So very excited to show you around. Excellent. Yeah. And you were mentioning that there's a bit of work going on at the moment. Yeah, so do please, for your viewers, please bear with us. We've got a huge event coming up starting tomorrow. There's a lot of people working on board at the moment, putting some carpeting down and getting ready for, I think, paying 40 or 50 guests on board for a party. Okay. Uh, so do bear with us. There's a bit of a mess everywhere. It's not, it's not charter ready, as no. I would like it to be. But because of our schedules, I think this is the only time that you're going to be able and I'm going to be able to film this together, same place at the same time. Absolutely. So Absolutely. I hope you enjoy the tour, guys. And uh, Nick, I'll leave it with you. Perfect. Thank you very much. Right. Let's go and have a look. Here we go. Thank you, Tristan. You're welcome. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so as Tristan explained, there's a huge amount going on, so there's a lot of stuff covered up and there's some carpeting going down over all of the areas. So we're gonna to have to work our way around that a little bit, but hopefully we'll still be give you a good impression of what this boat looks like. And maybe sometime in the future, we'll come down and do a full charter ready tour as well. But in the meantime, let's head on inside and I'll show you around. So the first thing we come to is this main saloon area. As I say, this is not the normal carpet. This is all set up for a huge party but uh, at least we can see the layout and get a good impression of the boat. So there's a great little seating area around here, big TV on that side and storage over there. And as we head on through the boat, we've got the dining area. Very nice. And then we'll head on again. Now this is a lobby so that guests can come in from the side through these doors here. And then this is the area that takes you down to the guest cabins or up to the upper deck. What we're gonna do is we're gonna head on forward and we're gonna take in the main deck master cabin first of all. So that's in here. You can see there's a big office area. And as we head on a bit further forward, this one is a massive dressing room, really huge. That's some of the artwork there that's been taken down just for when the party is on. So you might see a few blanks around the place. But this is the master cabin. Very nice size. I love the woodwork in here, it's very subtle. Now this has his and hers bathrooms. So if we head up through here, you've got this one, which has the shower. Tucked in behind there. And then this is the loo and the bidet. But if we head on around, we will discover exactly the same thing on this side. Completely the same setup. Excellent, we will carry on round. I'm mindful of the fact there's a lot of people on here, I don't want to get in the way too much, so we're going to keep moving. Let's go back out through here, and I think we'll take in the guest accommodation on the lower deck next. And that is down here, past this rather fetching statue. Cool. Again, oh, this is not the proper carpet. This is covered up to protect it. Well, they've got a whole load of people on the boat. But you will get a very nice idea of the layout of the boat. So, there are two cabins that are singles. These, of course, are en suite. So you can see that just through the back. and a big shower, of course. And if we come out of here, we'll find that this one is mirrored over on the other side. Like so. And again, of course, very nice en suite. Now, a little bit further back, there are two more cabins, and these are a little larger. So these are the VIP guest cabins. There's one here. These are doubles, as you can see. And again, very nice one, sweet. It's a little bit larger in this one. Nice big shower. Cool. And then out of here. 
identical cabinet on this side. And this has got its ensuite. Exactly the same. Again, the shower is just tucked around. In fact, we can see it if we can hook in. There we go. Excellent. Right. Let's come back out of here. This is a lovely big lobby area as we come through here. It feels very spacious. So we'll go on up. And I think what we'll do now is go right round and take a look at the upper deck. So this is this lobby area where people can come in from the side of the boat. But if we come round this lady here, we can head on up. So there's an upper saloon. Huge TV. I think it's about a 78 inch apparently. Little desk area in here as well if you want to do some work. And then a very nice seating area. And if we head out to the back. This is a dining area outside under the shelter of this big overhang. And there's a massive barbecue. Uh, gas fired. And then seating at the back. There is a bimini top that will go across here so you can have some shade here if you want. It's obviously open at the moment. And then you can see right over the back of the boat. And then some deck is up above. So we'll go and see if we can see that. This is more of this carpet being put down. Hi. Can I just squeeze past? Are you fine there? It's okay. Thank you. Messy. Okay, so this is the top deck. Now out here you can have furniture out here. And uh, or bean bags or sun loungers or whatever you want. This is a great area. And then there's a bar just here. And we'll head on round. Up the front, we'll find the jacuzzi. And in fact, also, there's a great view from here out across the front of the bay. We're going to take a look at that shortly. There's a chap working there, so we'll head back down this side. This is the bar area, and of course, there's ice maker, freezer, fridges, that kind of stuff. So, this can be really well catered for. And in here, it's all set up with all the cleaning gear for when they're working on the boat. Excellent. Right, let's head on down. Hi, sorry. Thank you. Perfect. And we'll go back into here and head on through. Now what we do have here is a captain's cabin. That's tucked in there, that has its own ensuite. I'm not going to linger in there because that's someone's private domain, but at least you can see it. And on this side is a pantry. So this caters for this area. And what is quite nice is if you look in the corner, there's a dumb waiter, so that takes food down or up rather from the galley. And we'll head on forward again. And we will find the day heads on this level. And finally, if you've watched Tristan's channel, you've seen quite a bit of this. This is the bridge, this is his office. Very well spec'd. It's got the Ectis paperless chart system, which is all super backed up, and that's all the controls for this. Throttles, obviously, thrusters, the stabilizers on here, and a little working area over on this side. Excellent. We are going to go out of this side and have a little look at the front. Now, up here, there are sun lounges and there are tables which you can either raise up as tables or drop down and increase the size of the sun lounges. And these fellas here, these are big sunshades. They're obviously tucked away at the moment, but they'll open out and, uh, and shade this area if you need it. And if you go right to the very front of the boat, there's more seating on either side and a great little area at the front, which the table is down at the moment. It's a sun lounging area, but you can see it just down there and you can lift that up and make that a really nice little snug area to tuck yourself away for a few cocktails of an evening. With an amazing view today of Cannes. And of course, all the deck gear is here as well. So ankle windlasses, cleats, fairies, that kind of stuff. 
Awesome. Let's go back through, and I think what we're going to do now is find the crew areas, and then we'll take in the mechanical spaces, engines and that kind of thing, tender garage and so on. So we'll go back down this side now, and what we can do, this is into the bridge again, but we can head right on down. Hi. Excuse me, can I just pop past? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Hi, just going through here. So this is into the crew area. It is full of gear and people at the moment, but that is the access out to the lower deck dining area. And if we head on forward, we are going to dash through here because there's a lot going on. But this is the galley. Hi there. Hi. But we're not going to linger. We're going to head on down to the crew area, which is down here, isn't it? It is down there. Perfect. Which is down here. We'll just have a very quick look in here because again everything is in use. Yeah. Hello there. Hi. Hi. I'm just doing a very quick run through. Sorry, Thank you. Just, um, don't mind us. Drink, no. We're just drinking wine. <laughs> I understand. So this is the crew area. There are three cabins down here, yeah. and uh, and they're all very similar. So you've got bunk beds like this, and then these have an ensuite as well, of course. So that's one of the cabins. There's another one across the other side, exactly the same. And there's also a third one, which is back just down around there. But before we go back out that way, we're gonna go a little bit further forward. This is the laundry area. So the washing machines are in here, by my favorite brand, Mueller. And uh, there's a little sink area. And then as we head up through here, this is an escape route. So if the crew needed to get out of here and couldn't go out the conventional way, that takes you out onto the uh, bow. And in here, this is all the hot water systems for the boat, and the freezer in here. This is actually for ironing bedding. So that's where everything gets aired and dried, which obviously is quite a convenient area right off of this laundry. Anyway, that's the crew. Let's head on back and uh, we'll take in a few more. So that's the third crew cabin just here. Ah, there we go, we've got a bit of better view of it. And if you've seen Tristan's videos, you'll know that that's his secret stash of sweeties there. We'll uh, resist temptation and we'll move on. Okay, so we're back up here. I'm going to slip through the galley very quickly because it is really, really busy at the moment as they prepare. And, uh, and we'll head on back out and we'll go and take in the mechanical spaces. So I think if we can sneak down here. No, we can't. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go this way. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> it's a very, very busy yacht at the moment. Hi there. I just squeeze past. Thank you. Hi. Right. Okay, so we're going to go back down this side. Similar sort of situation, but I think we can get away with it. Hi. Sorry. Sneaking past, no problem at all. Thank you. Okay, let's go right back here. back to the aft cockpit and this time we'll hook around here there's a doorway just here and if we open this one this takes us down to the engine space so careful down here because I'm holding a GoPro with one hand so this is where all the engines are operated from a very nice area in here and then ahead of us I've been given authorization so we're okay and the engines are not running let's go and have a look in here so these are the engines they are Caterpillar C32 they are 1600 horsepower each and they've been the boat about 18 knots flat out cruising about 14 but Tristan tells me if you drop the speed back to 12 knots you get about 3,000 miles of range it's a great engine room loads of space and we're gonna head on back and have a look at the tender garage these are the generators outboard there's one over there another one over on that side but let's go back through this area close that back up Resist the temptation to press any of these buttons, especially the red ones, and head back here. 
So this is the tender garage. Now that is the back of the boat that lifts up to get a tender in and out. In fact, they don't use this for a tender. They tow a chase boat instead, which is, as uh, Tristan says, much more suitable for running guests ashore. So instead they use this for toys. So you have sea bobs, jet surfs, uh, things that you can tow behind the chase boat, all that kind of stuff. So a very useful area. And of course, with that back door lifted up, it's an easy route straight out to the sea for all the toys. And there's another escape area up through there. Excellent. Okay, let's come back out of here. And I think I'm going to finish up here because it is a really super busy boat and I apologise for that but it was just a case of if we didn't do it now we weren't going to do it for another six months. So I hope that's given you a good insight and if you enjoy Tristan's channel then certainly it'll show you exactly what his super yacht that he captains is all about. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. If you haven't seen it, it's worth checking out. And uh, thanks for watching the video. I hope to catch you on the next one. Take care. Goodbye.